uh, playing right here on the home of fresh and classic hits. My good name is Dan Kwatalako. Good morning, y'all. It's been such a wonderful time in the presence of Lord. It's about 20 minutes now to 6 o'clock Tuesday. It is. It is January the 5th. January the 5th. We're still marching. We're still marching on. It's 2021. Yes. Uh, Justina Sioka has done her thing, but God is going to do even his now. So mm -hmm. uh, be still and know. Be still and know. Yeah. Uh, we invite you to we, we invite you this morning to remember that we'll be starting early in the morning at 5 right. with a wonderful time of prayer just to make sure we establish a lot of things with the Lord and establish what he's doing for us and be in the be be in the know with God. What is he doing? What is God doing now? We yeah. we there's a time and a season for everything and we need to be aware of what God is doing just to see actually na hiyo gari kuna gari inatoka ka SGR kanaishia and you don't be then running after it. Yes. Yep. And now more than so we need to know the times and the seasons. We need to understand the times and the seasons. 2021 mm -hmm. cannot we cannot stand to just Wave, wave, come on, my You know, just not knowing what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. but we need to know what God has planned for us yes. as a nation. And sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we need to be content. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about contentment the other day, mm -hmm. and I was wondering how can I be content mm -hmm. when all everything in school I was always taught to go for the extra, always do the extra, extra, always go for the extra, mm -hmm. always do what um, over, go and above. over and above. Yes, you know that which you have been asked mm -hmm. to do. And I remember the word of God saying in 1 Timothy 6, 6 to 7 says that, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Mm -hmm. For we brought nothing into this world and we can take nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. So God has promised to meet all our needs, financial needs, mm -hmm. any, any other needs that you have, health, yes. etc. If yes. you ask him. Yes. But you have to learn to be content. And I was Golden. like, this, 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 that's like an oxymoron kind of thing. Yes. Because in life, Ambitions is what drive us. Amen. We are ambitious about something. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. to pursue it. And sometimes when it doesn't work, it really bothers us. Yes. If you've ever, if you've ever seen a born baby, you know that they don't come into the world with anything. Nope. They come alone. In fact, they come gripping their hands. Like they, I don't know why they grip their hands. You See, know, the only, thing, like a womb. the only thing <laughs> that is attached to them is the umbilical cord. Yes. And that quickly gets cut as well. Mm -hmm. And then in, during a funeral, no one takes anything with them. No. They just lie there. So in between birth and death lies so many things that we have focused on and ambitions and everything and we've tried to gather everything and amass Correct. everything and we've forgotten mm -hmm. the true essence of life because mm -hmm. contentment is what is going to keep us grounded. Correct. Contentment will keep us grounded. Correct. Contentment means my happiness is not dependent upon circumstances. Ooh. Yes. Is your happiness dependent on your money? Is your happiness dependent on your title or your job? Is your happiness dependent on that car that is at your driveway or your par or your parking parking slot? That's sinking sand. Mm. Mm. Is your content is your, is your happiness uh, anchored on anything that is fleeting? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself that quest worst question. Mm -hmm. You know, most people get caught into you know when thinking when they get a certain job. You know, when I get a certain car, or when I get a certain, certain spa, uh, spouse, spouse yes. wife, husband, mm. that's when I'm going to attain true happiness. Mm -mm. Or when the house is paid off, when I've, you know, built my own house, I'm not. Mm -hmm. That is the day I'll be very happy. Uh -huh. And that's what we say. And we, mm -hmm. we search for these things. Or when I clear my bills mm -hmm. on time, mm. then I'll be happy. Yes. <laughs> but the funniest thing is that God says, no, once you get there, you'll always want something else. That's true. If you don't learn contentment, you'll never be happy. You'll always want more. So you can learn. You can learn. See where you are right now, what you have right now. This was far-fetched mm -hmm. a few years ago. Mm -hmm. So you you, uh, uh, you got something, you were not satisfied, you got mm -hmm. that car, you're like, mm-mm. Bado. You got it. Okay, I need a faster car. Mm. You got a faster car. We're like, no, I'm tired of faster cars. I need cars that can go off-road. There's always the yearn for something, something else. Something else, mm -hmm. exactly. So, true godliness with contentment itself is great wealth. Say that again. True, true godliness with contentment, with contentment is itself great wealth. Great wealth. Uh -huh. What if where you are right now is, is the highest that God wanted you to reach? Because he wants you to reach a certain people. Correct. What Correct. if you'll never drive a, your own car? Mm -hmm. What if you'll never build your own house? Mm. Does it mean that now you'll die very bitter? No, I'll have a mansion in heaven. Exactly. <laughs> yes. 
So you need to be content. Mm -hmm. And remember, you're not going to take anything with mm. you. Nope. You didn't come with it. Mm -hmm. So if you have enough for today, mm -hmm. food, clothing, you know, you have something that makes you happy. Yeah. You have something that just keeps you calm. Then, my friend, you have true wealth. Oof. Because if our focus is on things that are fleeting, then in itself, even us, we need to understand that we will expire just like those things. Oh, yes. And when that time comes, you're not going to take anything with mm -hmm. you. Again, the book of 1 Timothy 6, 6-7 says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. Mm -hmm. For we brought nothing into this world, we and we cannot take nothing. And we can take nothing out, out of it. Oof. Mm -hmm. Shall we go to the Lord in prayer? Yes. God, we thank you for this word about contentment. Mm. We ask that you forgive us for our unbelief. That's right. In times when we thought we had so little, mm -hmm. we won't be able to get where we are. But the Bible reminds us today right. that all things are working together for our good. Mm -hmm. For them that have been called according to God, according to his purposes. Mm -hmm. And many times we have thought something is not good enough, it's not tall enough, it's not big enough for what we are supposed to do. But we are now in a place where we need to understand when you assign us to something, you shall provide. Mm. The Bible reminds us that you shall supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. So where we have failed you, O oh God, where we've abandoned your works, where we have walked away from your mission and your assignment saying, it's too little or it's too big or it can't be done. We ask for forgiveness today. We ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Teach us not to be anchored in pride mm. or anchored in our things, anchored in other people's things. Teach us not to compare with one another, but to rise up above it and do that which you asked us to do in the name of Jesus. Mm. We pray for growth in contentment, growth mm -hmm. in grace, so that our heart may receive more of your grace. Rescue us, O oh God, from the small, pathetic, small thoughts that we've had. Mm. We know you work with, with, with people of faith, so increase our faith today. Free us from that strange and stranglehold of our belief, mm -hmm. of unbelief. We, we pray that you liberate us, Jehovah God. Jesus, we pray that we shall be satisfied in Christ. Mm. Satisfied in Christ. Not overwhelmed, not smitten, mm -mm. not a fan, but satisfied in you. That's right. For every good thing you have given us in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. We refuse to stress over situations, to overthink over situations, but we acknowledge that everything we have, we have received as a gift from the Father of light. We th thank you that, oh God, we are going to be more flexible, more spontaneous yes. in serving you, not being indefined by what we have mm -hmm. or what we don't have. That's right. And we thank you that you're teaching us contentment at a very, very, very good place. Mm. We thank you for this word and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen, amen and, and amen. amen. Stand by for Maverick City in the upper room. Mm -hmm. and the song is you hold it all together. In case you're falling apart, this song it's just for you. Amen. We are Pearl Radio.